The shine has certainly come off hope and change President Barack Obama, but does his celebrity and his celebrity support continue to be a, a beacon for his campaign? I recently took that question to James Herzen, founder of the Left Coast Report. They certainly are. Uh, in both bundling money, making appearances, giving endorsements, and in making uh, individual contributions, uh, we have uh, agencies that report on that, and overwhelmingly big names, A-list names, um, gave to Obama to the tune of 16 to 1 as compared uh, with Romney. And then, of course, Ava Longoria, um, a television star, is actually um, an official in the Obama campaign reaching out to the Hispanic vote. And, of course, George Clooney was responsible as a co-host for raising the most money ever in a single evening. So definitely Hollywood celebrities are a big part of the campaign. And I think you're right, they're not as effusive, but they're motivated more by keeping the Republican nominee out than they are by some love undying of devotion to Obama. And that's because they have this innate fear of anything right of center. The other night, I mean, I even heard uh, Jay Leno taking some shots, which shocked some of us, taking some shots at Obama for uh, how they've been handling or mishandling uh, Benghazi, and that, that, that feels a little new. That is new, and that's a very important observation, because when Benghazi, which has not been covered by the vast majority of the media here in the United States, when it seeps into the pop culture to the point where Jay Leno's writers begin to write jokes about uh, Benghazi saying that uh, don't ask, don't tell is back, but now it's dealing with Libya for the Obama administration. That means that the public is really starting to get a hold of this story, uh, which is because of uh, Fox News and because of some conservative uh, websites. And now there's a new poll that shows um, like 44 percent believe that the Obama administration misled the public. That's a huge number. That, that's problematic. So this Benghazi gate uh, scandal, which it is a scandal, is just going to grow. And I, I think even Bob Woodward, the famed Washington Post reporter, is criticizing the American media for its lack of coverage uh, on that issue. You know, it's interesting. Uh, it's bad enough to be incompetent and have incompetence allow four of your people to get killed, if that's what it was, incompetence. But misleading, a covering up, uh, telling these ridiculous lies, these heinous lies about how uh, it wasn't a coordinated terror attack, uh, which we now know that the Obama administration was aware could be coming uh, more than three weeks before it actually happened because of a cable signed by the ambassador himself. But the idea that after it happens to, to try to do this ridiculous propaganda on the videotape, when the public becomes aware of what the Obama administration didn't do to protect them, and then did do to mislead the country, I think it becomes huge. It's nice to know some members of mainstream media, I'll call Jay Leno a member of mainstream media, at least are, are touching it because outside of Fox, none of the others are. Now, one of the others, MSNBC uh, this week, attacking Mitt Romney because he had the temerity to ask people at his rallies to give to the victims of Sandy. Yeah, well, you know, what we see at MSNBC is hysteria. I mean, MSNBC reflects the far left wing of the political spectrum in the United States. And MSNBC is basically in, a, in desperate straits because they're seeing the polls and the internal polls and the sub polls all shifting away from their chosen uh, candidate, Barack Obama. And uh, we see that all over. It, this, and we even see it in the Obama campaign as kind of flailing that's going on. So that, to me, is almost a panicky criticism of Romney. And you're right. I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous on its face to criticize someone for seeking contributions uh, for a very worthy cause because people are suffering a tragedy. It just shows just, I mean, in their minds, it takes away from the president doing his photo ops with FEMA and now saying, you know, that we will leave no American behind, and sort of the cloud of Benghazi is hanging over him as he says these things. So I, I just I see that as a, a terrible reflection on the poor perspective that MSNBC has.
Now, what about uh, the Michael Moore uh, video? Uh, and uh, this is in line with MoveOn.org, which is a, a major uh, anti-Republican, major pro-Democrat uh, uh, organization. Uh, MoveOn.org putting out uh, the, the stuff where elderly people are being asked to, if, if they may be volunteering, but it looks like they're being asked to do things like drop F-bombs uh, to yeah, threaten, yeah. I mean, uh, threaten the country if there's a Romney victory. No, yeah, and th yeah, threatened to burn down the profane name of the country and using 1960s language. And uh, MoveOn.org, funded by George Soros, by the way, picked the wrong guy because they picked Michael Moore, and Michael Moore's loyal primarily to Michael Moore. This video helped Mitt Romney, and it probably helped Michael Moore a little bit, who's not been in the news. It went viral. You take elderly people in a nursing home and have them talking like rappers, and it's the juxtaposition of a of granny out there cussing. Um, but it, it doesn't reflect well at all on the Obama campaign. As a matter of fact, um, on background, there are people who work for Obama who have said that they, they really didn't like it and, uh, and wish it wasn't there. But it, uh, Michael Moore serves Michael Moore first, and I believe that that's, you know, he wanted to get people to uh, be shocked at it and have it go viral, and it did, and it helped Mitt Romney, ironically. I know they're trying to get uh, the elderly in America to be frightened of Romney, but this ad, in my humble opinion, James, was elder abuse. Well, it sure looks like it because, it, I said, like I said, it was filmed in a nursing home. It's clearly scripted, and it, to the extent that vulnerable elderly patients of a nursing home were used in what was a little video political reality show, it would be abusive and it would be something. Maybe uh, it would be good to launch an investigation. But in the end, it all it generated was dismay and disgust. On all points in the political spectrum, it did go viral because anything outrageous, you know, a cat playing the piano, anything that's uh, of great interest or humor goes viral in the social media, and this did. And as I said, you know, Michael Moore got his name out there again. <laughs> I mean, it was, it, to me, it was, I, I didn't find it entertaining. I actually had to shut it off because it, it, there is a, a tradition that I believe in and that we respect the elderly, that we treat them with reverence and that you don't use them like that. And that's what Michael Moore did. James Harrison, thank you so much. Thank you. It's great to be with you.